Hello YouTubers, since I couldn't find a decent review about what's inside of this popular uh, Durastil water distiller, I decided to make my own and share with you. Here is how you can easily unscrew this front plate to access all internal parts. To get to most of the internal parts, all you need to do is uh, unscrew a few screws on this front plate and uh, just lower it like this you don't need to unscrew the top uh, cover the back this is what it looks like inside this is a coil where the steam is entering and coil is cooled by this fan so the steam is getting condensated to the walls of the coil tube and flows it down through this tube to this uh, filter and goes to this tank this is a solenoid activated valve that turns on and off the water supply to automatically fill the uh, tank and in this section uh, two switches the bottom switch turns on and off heating element and a fan when there is enough water in the tank and this top switch turns on and off this solenoid that supplies water to automatically fill the tank. You can use these external switches to enable or disable automatic water fill and uh, fan. When you turn off the fan, only fan gets turned off, but heating element still uh, works. And this is a reset button. I believe it pops when the heating element overheats. And here is how this float works. When I raise the float, it presses one switch. When I lower the um, float, it depresses one switch and presses another one. And that's how the float controls the water supply and turns on and off heating element and fan. Let me turn on the unit so you can uh, see when the fan turns on and off and heating element this is the buzzing noise that the solenoid makes when it uh, supplies water okay i'm gonna turn off the fan now okay now i'm gonna raise the float and the fan will turn on Okay, now let me show you how it works inside this uh, water tank. This is where water is supplied. You can hear it pouring there. When I lower the float, water starts pouring. And when the float goes up, the fan and heating elements uh, turn on and start distilling the water. Alright, and this is how you close the front plate of the distiller. If you use both hands, you can probably do a better job than me. But I'll try to do it with one hand. You can slide this plate under the top cover and screw it to the uh, distiller. And this is it folks. If you like the video, put thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to get more interesting information. Thank you for watching.